Paranormal Punches is part of the Podbelly Network. Go to podbelly.com for more great podcasts. Hey, y'all. This is Frank the Bigfoot, and you're listening to the Paranormal Puncher. Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Paranormal Punchers. I'm Mark. I'm Alicia. I'm Nash. I'm Dave. All right. <laughs> and on this episode, we're going to talk about Peggy the Daw, which, and this is from the Ghost Adventures Twitter. Warning, just looking at Peggy the Daw may result in mild to extreme discomfort. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> After looking at a bunch of pictures and video, thank you very much. Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> did you, when you were looking stuff up, I mean, there was a lot of pictures, uh, you know, in the articles I was reading where it was like the doll was looking right at me, mm. almost through my yeah. soul. And I found myself at times like, oh, I'm not going to look right at it because it, it, it starts to get to you. It's creepy. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, and I have to say, the first link that I started looking at for this it had a really big picture that I'm like looking at intimately of what about this doll looking at all the details. And then I get below the, to the actual text. And it's like, if you look at the picture, you might feel discomfort. I'm like, Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Put thanks. that above yeah. the picture. Yeah. Well, isn't that in the Dr. Strange movie that the warnings come after the spell? Right. Yeah. 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 It's kind of one of those. Dave looked at Peg the doll. Now he has COVID. So right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, so Peggy the doll is a three foot tall, uh, three doll, doll, yes. Um, (laughs) sorry, it was, I'm sorry, it was just written weird. Uh, with a blonde, I know, a blonde hair bob. So, like, her hair is really short, but it's like a bob, yeah, it has it's blonde hair and a a bob haircut, Yeah. yeah. Uh, and she has glassy blue eyes, and uh, she is considered to be the most haunted and dangerous doll in the world, uh, causing multitude people to have chest pain, nausea, and crippling headaches, which you said. Now, our story begins in England. I found in one article that Peggy was purchased at a car boot sale. What's a car boot sale? I didn't know. I had to look it up. I well, know. boot I know. in the UK, <laughs> that's what they call the trunk of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically it's a flea market like what we would call a flea market. Right, right, right. Um, You're like, I hope you got a big boot. I'm going to put my bike in it. Right. (laughs) 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 Uh, The woman uh, who purchased her began having issues sleeping, and she would hear footsteps walking around the house, even though she lived by herself, Uh, as well as the bathroom light would turn on and off at night. And she also began to have terrifying nightmares and felt as the the doll was haunting her dreams. Um, And I have a quote here. She'd wake feeling hot and shaken. No matter where she moved the doll in her home, the nightmares persisted. Now, apparently she tried to wrap the doll in a rug and put it in her shed. You mean like... uh when uh, mobsters do a hit, then they roll. I was going to say that. Yeah, yeah. Like good old she rolled it up in a rug you know? like that. Yeah, and, and then put, what? Dropped it into the to the river? No, she put it in her shed. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that, but, that's where she went wrong. You got to drop it into a river, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, but nothing changed. Like it, she still was having nightmares and stuff like that. Um, she even had uh, a local priest come over and do two different visits to try to cleanse the house. Uh, nothing changed. That's because she wrapped up Peggy in a freaking carpet and tried <laughs> to store her in the shed. I know. <laughs> yeah, if you want to anger the doll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they did to Rasputin, and it didn't work. And, and it didn't work then either, <laughs> yeah. 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 So after this woman, she suffered from a fever and hallucinations. Uh, she got on the internet and began searching for remedies for haunted dolls. Uh, she, she came across. I didn't realize that was a subreddit or anything. I don't know. <laughs> There's a subreddit for everything. Yeah, it's like a Doctor Oz right? show about you know, remedies for haunted dolls. So she came across Jane Harris's website called Haunted Dolls. Uh, there you and, go. Yeah, 
Jane, she is a paranormal investigator. And uh, this woman, she decided to contact her about the doll. Mm. Now, Jane came back and suggested that her and her team could come over and conduct some experiments. Uh, and the owner, she refused. Uh, instead, she just sent the doll to Jane. <laughs> She was like, here you go. Still wrapped up in the carpet? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) But hey, whatever works. Right. Right. Actually, it wasn't working. So, Yeah. Now, Jane began working with the doll, running experiments or uh, having paranormal sessions with it. Uh, And this is, I think, a quote from Jane. Uh, Just the other night, we held a session with her, and I made lots of notes as the pendulum was going crazy. The next morning, I couldn't find my notepad anywhere. And when I did find it, I couldn't even reach it. The notebook was later found on the beams of her basement ceiling. Uh, My husband had to use a ladder to get it. Now, many people who saw the picture felt that she, uh, Peggy, did not want me to tell people the information I had gained. So, like, (laughs) I don't know how it got up in the, the ceiling, but... Now, was that just dramatic pause you're no, taking? No, I'm sorry. I was <laughs> oh. like, I lost my spot. It's like, <laughs> well, so does that mean that Peggy has got like like telekinesis or something, or, uh, or is something. she have like portal control, or does she actually move, or is she like Chucky and gets up and moves well, and so, slices vegetables? <laughs> I don't think she moves per se. But I think she can move other things, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it sounds like she could. Now, Jane, she began posting images and videos of Peggy on her website. And that is when she began receiving comments from people that had seen the video and began having issues. People started having chest pains, nausea, massive headaches after viewing the videos and the pictures of Peggy. Uh, Jane claims that she received over 80 cases of this. There are some that have had visions of mental institutions that are combined with (laughs) intense anxiety or dread, which I'm sure Hmm. they they would give me that, too, if I saw them. Right. Uh, Now, uh, there's even one woman who claimed that Peggy gave her a heart attack. Uh, I I read that I was, and I thought to myself as I was reading that I'm thinking I think that might be a big step how I, yeah. I, I don't know what would lead up to that you know how how to connect those two dots that's a pretty big jump yeah I, I, a lot of them I feel like they are coincidence but mm-hmm. I don't know um, Jane says that a ton of people have also come forward with accounts ranging from their computer freezing when they looked at Peggy's p- picture. Uh, to the room uh, going cold and light bulbs blowing out whenever they mention the doll. Wow. Mm. Yeah, so like one lady, she when she opened up a picture of the doll, uh, her computer froze, the room went cold, and she also felt like there was somebody in the room with her moving around. Uh, and another lady... That's, that's a pretty typical thing with Comcast. <laughs> you know, whatever they come out, that's kind of what happens to us. The power mm-hmm. goes out, the computer freezes, and there's always somebody <laughs> lurking in the room, oh, just kind of hanging out and not doing their job. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, if you work for Comcast, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry I guess you won't be sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> now, another lady... She said that when the um, when she looked at the picture, light bulbs blew out. Uh, she f- and then she felt as though there was a present with a presence with her in the home after speaking about Peggy. So mm. now, apparently, it isn't just in the moment with Peggy either. Uh, the experiences also seem to happen hours later. Um, and I have a quote here. We have been told she can affect people's dreams. She recently visited a lady in her dreams, warning her about one of her cats. The next morning, the lady found her cat very ill, and he sadly died that day. <laughs> so now, was that because? Now I, I read that, and I thought to myself when I read it, I thought, mm-hmm. "Is that Peggy doing it, or was Peggy like warning the lady about right. this?" Yep. Because a harbinger uh, or a, a right, a right, instigator. Because Peggy was, she was possessed by a lady named Peggy, 
right? It was a, an English lady who died of respiratory illness. Yeah. And her, her name was Peggy, and she possessed this doll. Mm -hmm. So I feel like some of the things are spiteful, but maybe, I, I don't know. I kind of took that specific one as mm -hmm. maybe Peggy, when she was alive, maybe she liked cats. I don't know. And maybe she <laughs> was like a harbinger mm -hmm. saying, hey, just letting you know that – so there could be some compassion in there. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that one. <laughs> now, Jane, she says that she has even experienced migraines while working with Peggy, uh, as well as feeling like drained by her. Now, one way that Jane tries to combat Peggy's antics is by kindly asking her to stop traumatizing people. <laughs> And that will usually do the job. That, that works. <laughs> right. So that, that's what maybe that was the second little thing that made me think, okay, maybe Peggy is just kind of screwing with people. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and if you ask her to stop, she's like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll lay off. Right. <laughs> uh, now. Don't I, roll her up in a carpet. That's right. the, that's the, the moral <laughs> of the story. And put her in the closet or something. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Jane, along with uh, several psychic mediums, have spent years studying Peggy. And because of that, they have come to the conclusion that the doll is possessed by the spirit of a woman who was born in 1946 in London's Holland Park and died of a chest-related condition like asthma, which you mentioned, Nash. Mm -hmm. yep. um, these mediums all believe that the spirit is restless and frustrated, as well as possibly previously persecuted. They felt that she might have links to the Holocaust and was possibly Jewish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, these mediums also say that it isn't just a female spirit. There's also a male spirit that's surrounding the doll. Uh, yeah. The female, of course, her, she says her name is Peggy. The male never communicates, but his energy is felt and described as dark and nasty. His spirit, they think, his spirit is responsible for all the negative instances uh, hmm. dealing with her. Uh, Sounds like a married couple, you know, like driving along. And would you please ask for directions? No, I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> I don't need to ask. Right. I'm not yeah. talking to anybody. Yeah. And Peggy's like, you're being a jerk. I'll fix this. Right. You know? Yeah, totally. Totally. <laughs> it's maybe it's Peggy saving the day and right? from the bad guy there, from the negative spirit. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Now, I, I don't know how they came to this, uh, but they also believe that she hated clowns. Hey, who does it? I know. <laughs> I just don't know how like this came out. Like, I guess in their sessions, like, did Peggy say, boy, I hate clowns or right. what? Right. Or did a, or did somebody in costume come and see it and Ooh. Peggy, like, burn the house down or something? Yeah. Or, <laughs> I, I don't know, struck yeah. their, you know, you, you know, blew their head off their shoulders or something like that. I, wow. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'm you go from what, Peggy uh, is actually nice and trying to save the day to blowing heads off. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if she doesn't like clowns, how would you test something like that? Mm. You know, how would you know? Right. Unless someone that was in a clown outfit and was like, oh, hello, hey, Peggy. And Peggy, like, freaked out and lightning bolt shot out or something. I, oh, I was thinking more along the lines of, like, she was in a room with you know, other dolls, and those dolls were dressed up as clowns, and those dolls were thrown on the floor or turned backwards or mm. generally yeah. she just didn't – she showed she didn't like it. Not – mass murder of that doesn't make clowns. any sense dave it was clearly <laughs> mass murder <laughs> she could be talking about us tire you clowns right 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 yeah. hope she doesn't hear this no and i have just one uh little thing until we move to where peggy is now um and this is from jane as well she said a new and developing medium known as lindy had an experience related to peggy her Facebook page kept posting comments about the doll over and over again after she commented her thoughts and feelings about Peggy. All her comments began duplicating. Uh, she tried to comment on other another thread, and the duplication did not happen. But when she went back to her original post, it happened again. Uh, then her dog started barking, and her face became very hot and flushed, and she felt like she wasn't alone. Uh, and this is in quotes. I ended up apologizing to Peggy as I felt maybe she disapproved of us chatting about her and my symptoms stopped. 
Wow. Mm. So. Mm. Peggy triggering hot flashes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And dog so, barking. Right. <laughs> and duplicating so, comments on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, one of the things I know you want to get into where the doll is now, but with this, we've all seen pictures of Peggy. Mm -hmm. We've done research on Peggy. Even I did research on Peggy. What? <laughs> and yeah. And the, um, <laughs> you know, with all of this, we're now talking about Peggy. Oof. And so, like, are we all, like, potential victims of Peggy mm. here? Why would and, you say that? I know. Um, so I think we need a follow-up on next episode or something of, oh. like, did any of us experience any bad dreams or or anything like that? You know, and, yeah, it's... Okay. I'm, like, a little freaked out about this topic. Like, what are we inviting in? <laughs> right? you know, all the other ones, we are distanced. But this one, it's like... We might be inviting something to come, <laughs> you know. Well, I know what to get day for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, now, where is the dawn now, you ask? Well, it's at <laughs> Zach Bagans Museum. Uh, so he had reached out to Jane about the doll. And Jane said that she knew when Zach called that uh, and asked if he could have the doll for his museum, that it was the right time Uh to let it go. Uh, her kids were getting older and she didn't feel comfortable with the doll of her size and reputation uh, around the kids and stuff. So it just seemed like the best time to give it to Zach. And I don't know if he paid some money, so that could have also been part of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jane and Peggy got on a plane and flew to Las Vegas. <laughs> uh, now, uh, it's in his museum and they built like uh, kind of like a, a little dollhouse facade. It's behind glass. So you can't you can't get to and touch it. Right. Um, but you can go through the tour and check it out. Now, uh, really? to, to check yeah. out the doll, you have to sign a waiver. Yeah. Uh, that's how uh, apparently dangerous it is. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Zach himself was talking about being skeptical of the Peggy stories um, until they uh, filmed uh, an episode of Deadly Possessions. Now, he, quote, uh, I was very skeptical of this claim until the doll caused very terrifying activity during our filming, including manifestations of flies, camera problems, negative mental effects on me, and poltergeist activity. So the dog kicked up a uh, hmm. shitstorm with uh, yeah. Zach there when they were making that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Um, so now you can go see the dog, sign that waiver, uh, and they tell you when you go in, they, they move the crowds pretty quickly through. They don't, you don't linger and poke the bear but you you, <laughs> you say hi and you say goodbye uh and they have a psb 11 spirit box like set up uh, put it in front of her so and people talk about getting a response uh cool. from the the peggy doll in fact uh, i found this one reddit user said that uh, him and his wife were visiting the museum in 2019 uh they got to that exhibit and uh as they were going through and uh, the tour guide told, told us to say hi and bye and said about not uh, looking Peggy directly in the eye. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. He was at the end of the line, and of course, he couldn't help himself. He just had to. <laughs> uh, but through the spirits <laughs> box came, thank you. It's clear as day. And he thought he was being messed with, but that freaked him out a bit. <laughs> hmm. So how did they transport Peggy on the plane? Still in that carpet. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm hearing a lot of things about Peggy moving from A to B and maybe not the best scenario. Right. Maybe Peggy's a little pissed off about the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, now, and uh, Baggett said that uh, that Peggy is a type of haunted doll that will put your bravery to the test if you will look at her or not. So will you look at her or not when we go to the museum, boys? Mm. Mm. Well, nope. she's always under camera. Isn't she always under camera? <laughs> yeah, they got, and they got cameras on her uh, yeah. permanently. Mm -hmm. So, you, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends if she likes her new uh, zoo enclosure or if uh, mm -hmm. you know she feels like it's being wrapped in a carpet in the shed and wants to stick it out on people. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. Zach, you know, he's met them all. Robert the doll, yep. Harold the doll, mm -hmm. but none affected Mr. Zach Bagans as much as Peggy the doll did. <laughs> so that's crazy. Yeah. 
I don't remember, did any of the other dolls have an effect to where it's like, you can just look at it, instead of looking at the doll specifically, you can look at a picture of the doll, or right. even online mm. of the doll, and right. get effects from it. Well, I don't know anything about Harold the doll, but I don't think with Rob the doll, but Rob the doll, if you're there looking at it, if you're not respectful, right. he makes things bad for you. Right. Yeah, yeah. You had to, but you had to be there, like, face to face. Right. Wow. Well, Peggy's yeah. kind of like like... I don't know. That's that's pretty wild that it's just the yeah. image wherever the image goes. Right. Yeah. Using the yeah. internet to get to you. Well, and you know, that's one of the fears of like if I had had this doll, like there's no getting rid of it. You get rid of the doll, but you're still it's still attached to you. You can't get rid of it. Right. Any pictures now it's it's Dave, you seem your... a little unnerved uh <laughs> by yeah, looking up yeah. stuff on this topic. It's the yeah, first yeah. I've ever seen you be a little jittery. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm usually more of a skeptic, but on this one, I'm like, what have we invited by investigating <laughs> this topic? <laughs> we'll just have to make sure we say, uh, you know, Peggy, you know, we respect you. Right. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry you got wrapped up in the carpet. That really right. sucks. Yeah. Right. Uh, Dave's address is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. If you want to reach him, send pictures on Facebook. <laughs> right. Yeah, man, if Peggy slides into your DMs, bro. You'd be freaking out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, wow. dear. We're going no, on a tangent. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I just have one last thing, um, and I took this from These Curious Times, and uh, D is her name. She uh, wrote this. In respect of the very powerful entity that uses the doll as a vessel, I lowered my gaze and said, Hi, Peggy. Hi, D. Peggy replied via the PSB-11 spirit box placed in front of her. As I said. Yes, I know. (laughs) Wow, easy, easy, kids. Easy, easy. Uh, I had not said my name and was slightly surprised but laughed a little because a few years ago I had a brief encounter with Peggy and whatever resides in that doll had done me a favor and now was my chance to say thank you. Peggy, do you remember a few years ago I had that migraine, that three-day migraine attack, and when I gazed upon your photo, you instantly took my headache away, even though you normally give people headaches or nosebleeds? The spirit box replied, I remember. Well, Peg, I'm here today to say thank you for doing that for me, even though we had not met and had become friends. The doll quickly said, you're welcome. (laughs) Now, uh, you need to take into account that a spirit box scans the white noise so fast that you usually only hear like one word. Um, And it's very rare if you hear more than a couple words in a sentence or whatever. Uh, On my way out of the room, I said, bye, Peggy, sweetie. And her reply startled me. Bye bye, D. See you tomorrow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it was true. I was visiting the museum again the following day, but I had told nobody. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Dave, you ready? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just so you know, that gave me chills when I was reading. Yeah, that yeah, that's that's insane. Um, crazy. Yeah, so I'm, that that furthers my thinking that there's there's two entities inside Peggy the doll, mm-hmm. right? You know that when it actually when it's Peggy that comes through, and every once in a while, it's not all the time that she's the foremost personality in there, right? But when she does, she's appreciative and tries to help out. But the other end of these dark energies, wherever mm-hmm. that came from, is what's giving the headaches and whatnot. Right. All right. Now I do want to say, like, I'm trying to be respectful in my dark humor but i'm <laughs> thinking more of like peggy's actually like uh hey i'll take headaches from this person and i'll give them to this person she's just like uh <laughs> a little give and take action going right, right right yep so it uh yeah she can't create headaches she can just move them around <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> interesting i like that theory <laughs> nice okay well Why we ponder that, Dave. (laughs) Why don't we take a quick break and we'll be right back with some listener feedback, some stuff, questions for us from listeners, yada, yada, yada. We'll be right back. And we're back. All right. (laughs) Learned uh, stuff about Peggy the doll today. Also learned that Dave's afraid of dolls, so he's getting one for Christmas. Um, (laughs) (laughs) 
And jumping into listener feedback here, I'd like to welcome Aaron to our Patreon. Hey, thanks, man, for welcome, uh, jumping on and supporting the show. We greatly appreciate it. Okay. Speaking of Patreon members, we heard from Pirate Prentice. Punchers of the Paranormal. Have you heard that New Hope in Bucks County has been called America's most haunted town? Mm-mm. There was an article about it uh, available via the obscure site called Google, and it discusses multiple different apparitions, including none other than Aaron Burr, the Kerr. Did not know this, but it makes sense if you've ever been to New Hope. Uh, more upscale now, but still maintains a very smooth, hippie vibe. Mm. Well, with the dispensaries and all. So, you guys ever been to New Hope? No. I have not. No. I looked it up. It's about, what, two hours from us? Sure. So I was like, we could add that uh, on the list of destinations we want to check out, mm-hmm. uh, sure. which led to the question uh, from Pirate Prentice. What are our top five destinations that we are keen to visit? And it doesn't have to be paranormal, but I'm going to make it paranormal because it's a show called right. Paranormal Punchers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, While well, we put uh, New Hope on there, uh, but I just said it, uh, Zach Begin's uh, mm. uh, museum yeah. out there in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hit some casinos while I'm out there. Yep. Uh, the Other wind- than the doll. <laughs> uh, no, you're going with me, Dave. I'll hold your hand. <laughs> uh, the Winchester Mystery House. Mm. I'd mm-hmm. love to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Lighthouse and Fort in St. Augustine. I've been yeah. promising uh, my wife mm-hmm. here that I would take her. <laughs> uh, what else? What other places? Mm. Uh, Roswell. Oh, Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And uh, Salem has been on my mind lately. I Like, I would love to go up there, especially next month, because it's all about Halloween and witches mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Salem, so. Oregon. Yep. What? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's some places I'd check Location out, uh, including uh, I'd love to go to Scotland. Um, mm-hmm. What about you, dear? Yours are probably the same as mine since we live together. Well, uh, <laughs> 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 I because I, I wrote down some uh, Roswell, uh, Salem, uh, and I did say St. Augustine, but not necessarily for the spooky stuff. I you just are always talking it up, and I would love to go. Um, I know I've been to Scotland, but I would love to go back, uh, especially Edinburgh. I feel like we didn't spend enough time there. Uh, mm-hmm. And apparently it's the hauntedest city in the Scotland. Hauntest? Haunted. The most yes. haunted city. And I would love to go to Scotland to see the Highland Games. Mm-hmm. 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 Nash, what mm-hmm. about you? You've been to a lot of places around the country, but you still have a list of places you got to go to? And they don't have to be haunted, but... Well, I like uh, I've said the Skinwalker Ranch before. I oh, think awesome! Be a yeah, pretty awesome place to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, New Mexico, where the that uh, was it the not the, not the cone of silence. It's not that. It's uh, <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, I know the zone of silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, not the cone of silence, but the zone of silence. Yeah. <laughs> the zone of silence. That's in Mexico. There. Yeah, I want to go see that that uh, mind control radar. Uh, up on the east coast where the heck oh is in that? montauk oh yeah montauk yeah. yeah i'd like to go up and see that mm-hmm. uh let's see we just watched a travel show and they they went to fiji i'd like to go there Ooh, nice they, they gotta have some haunted stuff <laughs> uh and then uh most likely a catamaran trip just going from island to island mm-hmm. very cool yeah dave what about you so number one destination I want to go to is Sweden. It has nothing to do with paranormal, but I really <laughs> they want to stuff. They got stuff. Yeah, I'm they got sure they do. got stuff. Yeah. We just don't know. Yeah. They have it's stuff. all the heavy metal, though. Oh, I'm, yeah, go, I'm going with you on that trip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but number one paranormal place, uh, definitely uh, Hoska Castle. Um, mm-hmm. Absolutely nice. have to get there. Uh, I've been to Scotland. I've been to Edinburgh. Um, but would love to travel north and see um, you know, Loch Ness, see the Belaskin House. Um, or what's left of it. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to go spelunking in the caves in West Virginia. Hmm. Yeah, you should watch the movie uh, The Descent, <laughs> Descent before uh, yeah. no, you do that. not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't mind going to see in the, the Hoi Bisiu Forest. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That would be really good, doing a little hike through there. We're going to need a bigger Patreon. I know. <laughs> to yeah. travel to some of yeah. these places. Sweet. Uh, on our uh, group, our Facebook group, Travis asked, if you all could have a run-in with one cryptid or monster, what would you like it to be and why? Dave. 
uh, I can't remember the name of it. The the walking pants thing. Oh, uh, the, the Fresno, <laughs> Fresno Nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> why, why would you want to have a run in with that? Because it'd just be funny. Why would you not want to? Yeah, have you're right. You got, that. uh, yeah, you're right. That would be hilarious. Oh, I love it. Sweet. Oh, Nash, what about you? I'd probably go with the puck wedgie. Yeah. Yeah. And Frank kick it in the face. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. Cause, cause I know it's a, it's a, uh, it's a cryptid that I could take with minimal effort. So, yeah, but they, so just they see it and be shoot like, tiny yeah, arrows with poison, point. dude. What if they take well, you down? You know, <laughs> you'd be like Gulliver. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love a bunch of little puck wedges. Just, just strap going, you down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, Lish, what about you? I commented on it, uh, that I would love Nessie. That's who I would want to see is a real, and I don't necessarily want to get in a fight with Nessie. But I want wow, to see. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah, you, I don't but think seeing you Nessie front, or getting in a fight with Nessie. You try getting to front yeah. kick uh, Nessie yeah. in the face. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, all right, but why? Why? I've always been um, into Nessie. I've always been into Scotland, so I feel mm-hmm. like it's just my spirit animal. Cool. In a way, but and of course, I've got to say Bigfoot. Of course, you are. Yeah, and I think the reason why has been told on this show a whole bunch of times. But I just think it yeah. would be cool. And I can guarantee you, if I was out in the woods looking, I would have the new iPhone 14 with that stabilization, uh, yeah. a backup camera with stabilization. I would not uh, get a blurry effing photo, right? <laughs> <laughs> but or unless unless that's something to. It, Bigfoot gives off and just makes right. himself blurry. Otherwise, right. I'd be prepared to get a good photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Remember, so, uh, I got to oh, ask go quick. Though you picked uh, Nessie, you wouldn't pick the uh, Kelpies. No. No. You don't like the water horses. I mean, in Scotland. Um, no, I feel like I always just really thought about Nessie, like okay. when I think about Scotland and yep. the mystical, but. I'll look into it, though. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, man, you're allowed to stick with your answer. Don't let <laughs> right, Dave yeah. badger you. <laughs> yeah. He's the one afraid of a doll. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> As everyone should be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And if you remember on the last episode, uh, we talked about vampire movies. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Indiana Johnny uh, wanted to throw out some recommendations. Um, if you're looking for some good vampire movies, check out Let Me In. It's currently on Netflix. And also a TV show. It's not a movie. It's a TV show. Uh, what We Do in the Shadows. Mm. It's on FX. <laughs> it's a mockumentary about with vampires. Yep. I saw the movie. I have not seen the TV show. But I heard it's really good. Have you guys yeah. seen it? I have not. I've heard I the show not. is really good, though. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, speaking of movies, Dave, you're not uh, into dolls. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> have, you ever, uh, have you ever seen a movie, a terrifying movie with a doll in it? Like you have a, a movie that uh, I guess there's really only two that come to my mind. All the Chuckies. Right. Well, yeah. uh, all the uh, Annabelles. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Is there any other movies with uh, possessed dolls running around killing people? Was it Toy Soldiers? <laughs> well, there is the one. Uh, is it like. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I don't know That's about right that here. one, but I'm just yeah. seeing these tiny little dolls run around killing people, but I can't get the name of the movies. Oh. Oh, Puppet Master. Mm. Oh. Huh. Yeah, like Puppet so, Master 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Yeah, yeah honestly, I haven't seen any of them. Um, <laughs> yep. Now, we watched that one where um, the mom felt like her dead son was in this doll or whatever. And so she had like a Oh, uh, the boy. Was it called the boy? Or just boy. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which, obviously, it didn't come out that it was a haunted doll. It was... Spoilers. Weird. I know. <laughs> now you ruined it. I'm never going to watch it. Dave, well, I'm so sorry. I know that you were like... planning on watching it. Right. Years yeah, yeah. ago. Years yeah. Ago. We talked about it on Punch Farm. Okay. Um, all right. That's all I got. Uh, and uh, from all of us at Paranormal Punchers, Peggy, mm-hmm. goodbye. Mm-hmm. All right, just do an F you, Dave. Making sure yep. Peggy knows we're yep. it's cool. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've offended you. That's right. It's all in good thank, jest. Thank you for letting us talk, talk about you. And please don't give us migraines and... Heart attacks. Right. right. You know, the next time people hear us, uh, 
I'm wrong. There's an episode before a mm-hmm. Halloween special, isn't there? Yep. Right. Well, yep. either way, uh, next weekend we're filming our Halloween special. That's yeah. right. This year, you'll be able to listen to it as, uh, as a podcast, but also watch, I don't know, mm-hmm. probably might be an hour 15, almost a feature length movie runtime of us, our trivia show, hot sauce, shenanigans, little skits, puppets. I don't know. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Hopefully, I just didn't oversell it. I know. Yeah. Oh. And just to be clear, they're puppets, not dolls. Right, yeah. there's a difference. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so g- hopefully you're excited about that. We, uh, we're we excited to make it and mm-hmm. share it with everyone out there. All right. At, anything else? Anything else we forgot to say? Find all of our links to everything we do at paranormalpunchers.com. Mm-hmm. If you love the show, drop us a five-star on Apple or Spotify <laughs> or wherever you listen to. Yeah. Us at. Yeah. And, you know, go look at Peggy first. And if you <laughs> duplicate those five stars, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Start sending multiple five stars. Thanks, Peggy. Yes. Yes. Yep. Rock on. All right. If it's not weird, it's not worth checking out.